ChatGPT, and other AI writing programs are truly marvelous inventions. They can create plausible sounding paragraphs in mere seconds, and can be incredibly fun to play around with. Now at this stage, some of that text might contain factual errors, and it might not be super accurate. However, the AI is rapidly improving, and it's created concerns that it's going to generate a lot of widespread cheating in take-home exams or in assignments. So what then are universities to do about this? How do they get on top of some of this cheating? Well, this is where programs like Turnitin or AI Cheat Checker come into play, and they're rapidly trying to develop software to make it easy to detect AI-driven cheating. How then would Turnitin or AI Cheat Check or any of these other pieces of software detect AI-driven cheating? It looks as if ChatGPT generates new text on the fly. Surely this isn't the same as old text. Surely it's new and unique and different, and therefore it shouldn't be detected by Turnitin. Well, the answer really comes down to how the AI text generators operate. The way they operate is they try to pick the most probable word that will come in the most probable place of the most probable sentence, which they would put within the most probable paragraph. Basically, they are trying to find the most likely word choice and the most likely sentence structure and the most likely paragraph structure for your particular text you are typing in. This creates a lot of central tendency and a lot of tendency toward particular types of words and particular types of structures. And the tendency toward having those structures is what Turnitin and these other pieces of software are picking up. That is, if the words and the sentence structure you are using too closely resembles the chat GPT average, then that would be a signal that the person has cheated. So Eric Wang, the vice president of AI at Turnitin, explained it as follows. These models are trained at the sum of human knowledge, so they write extremely average. They are mad lib machines that pick the most probable word in the most probable place. Humans are idiosyncratic. No person is exactly average. What Eric Wang is getting at here is that when people write a sentence or they select words, they often have idiosyncrasies. Maybe one person's word choice is very different from another person's. Maybe one person uses words that have lots of syllables or they use words in a particular manner that isn't the same as another person. So your favorite author, for example, might use more hyphens than normal or they have a particular turn of phrase or they have a particular sentence structure there are all idiosyncrasies within your favorite authors. At a more general level, each person is going to write subtly different from one another. So therefore, turn it in and the like, detect how closely the sample sentence adheres to the general structure you would see within ChatGPT. And the closer it adheres in more sentences, in more paragraphs, with more words, the more likely it is that cheating has gone on. It would also cause the academic to more closely scrutinize the accuracy of that text. Because after all, ChatGPT is infamous for having some incorrect facts put into very plausible and very confident sounding sentences. The question is then, can this software actually detect AI generated text? It's all very easy for them to say that they can do it, but does it work in reality? So to test this, I decided to ask ChatGPT about one of my areas of expertise, being corporate valuation. I've written a book on corporate valuation where I go through various valuation methods, link in the description below, so it's an area that I'm reasonably familiar with. So what I did is I asked ChatGPT to explain free cash flow valuation to me. It gave me back an answer that was plausible enough, but it was incredibly average. It was pretty superficial. It looked very, very generic. I would not necessarily as a human be able to tell that it was AI generated, but it was certainly very average. What I then did is I took that paragraph and I put it into AI Cheat Check, which is a freely available tool at the moment. And then I asked it whether or not that text was AI generated. It told me that it was almost certainly generated by AI. Now that was a relatively straightforward example. What if we make it more complicated? So I decided to ask ChatGPT, explain free cash flow valuation to me in the style of Lewis Carroll. Lewis Carroll, of course, wrote Alice in Wonderland, and he has a particular and unique way of writing things. So this is a little bit of a more difficult task for the software. I got back my paragraph from ChatGPT, which is all very glorious in its explanation, and it's worth a bit of a read just for how they explained it. So the way they wrote it is, Alice was strolling through Wonderland one day when she stumbled across a curious creature. It was a cash flow rabbit, hopping around and singing a strange tune. Alice was intrigued and asked the cash flow rabbit what it is doing. The rabbit replied, I'm here to explain free cash flow valuation. You see, when valuing a company, investors look at its free cash flow. This is the amount of cash a company generates after accounting for capital expenditures and other operating costs. 
By estimating the free cash flow of a company, investors are able to calculate its value and make smart investment decisions. It's all quite simple, really. Alice smiled and thanked the cash flow rabbit for its explanation. She was glad to have gained a better understanding of free cash flow valuation and continued on her way. That is truly a marvelous paragraph. This paragraph was able to successfully trick the software, which reported that it was almost certainly driven by a human. So here we can see that the software can detect some AI generated text, but primarily in standard examples. In more complex situations, it might not detect that AI had generated the paragraph. And this does of course create an issue. Now different software programs will detect things differently. However, AI Cheat Checker doesn't appear to be able to detect all AI generated text. It is important to note that this is currently in beta and it is being developed over time. So it certainly will improve as they get more and more training data. However, at this point, it isn't perfect, even though it does a decent job for relatively straightforward answers. So far, it looks like the software might be able to detect AI generated text in simple examples, but not necessarily in very complex situations. And there are some other complications that arise as well. First, students can evade the software by going into the AI generated text and changing a few words, changing the sentence structure, making it look like it is new work, even though it is not in fact their own work. And this then can get through the AI cheat detection. Second, AI is continually changing. We're in ChatGPT3 at the moment, but ChatGPT4 is going to come out. And this then will impose more challenges on the software and they need to continually update themselves to keep on top of what AI is doing. Now, OpenAI has indicated that they're going to build in cryptographic signals into their text to make it easier for Turnitin and other software to detect when something involves AI. However, it's not entirely clear whether this would get around that simple word change that I mentioned just before. And it imposes continual challenges on trying to reduce the amount of cheating in exams and in assignments. So if it looks like AI generated text and AI driven cheating might be here to stay, what then would an academic do? How then would one set an exam or an assignment to try to minimize the risk of cheating? Well, at the moment, this is still an evolving field. But in the short term, one way you can do this is you would set problem scenarios that involve people applying knowledge gained in the subject to a specific scenario that AI would struggle with. This would be a specific fact scenario that you have dreamt up, a new fact scenario that someone needs to answer based on knowledge gained specifically within the course. AI could easily do a very bad job answering this because AI is often giving you back very generic answers, things that look plausible-ish, but often are either A, a little bit wrong, and or just so generic and broad and vague that they might not even answer the question. So if we're asking people about very specific things, asking people to solve a particular problem scenario by applying knowledge they've gained in the course, especially if you're asking them to cite that knowledge, so to cite their sources, AI might struggle with this and they might not include those relevant citations, or they might not answer the question properly. And as a result, the person might simply fail anyway. And if they're failing because the answer is bad, it achieves a similar outcome to failing because they were cheating to begin with. An obvious application of this, of course, is in law exams. Law exams oftentimes have a problem scenario. You present people with a fact scenario that they then need to solve and approach based on the legal knowledge they gained within the course or through their own knowledge. And then they need to apply this to that fact scenario. AI will often either apply that knowledge incorrectly, coming up with plausible sounding sentences that aren't really that relevant, and or B, it simply won't apply the citations at all. And as a result, you come back with a very bad answer that would fail anyway. But clearly this is a developing field that academics, exam setters, and other people are going to need to keep on top of. Now, if you've got any thoughts about ChatGPT and AI-driven cheating, let me know that in the comments below. But otherwise, hopefully I see you next time.